What's going on with y'all? Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Shoot. I chilling by the pool. Got me a little place to come chill at real quick. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. DZ be on. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't do the review of the game. I'm still watching the other two games from yesterday. But um, the um, Fever played um, the Atlanta Dream in ATL. Um, and shout out to Caitlin Clark. You know, I think people think I hate Caitlin Clark. I don't. I just call out the BS. But it's like she said, you guys think this is a rivalry. We, I mean, this is just the game for us. It's like, y'all think this is a rivalry. You know, and everybody was just like, because, dog, this stuff is getting crazy. Caitlin Clark fans are crazy. You got Angel Reese fans having to defend her. And then the All-Star thing came out. They done talked all this crap about Angel Reese, but Angel Reese is in the top seven. They like, yeah, but Caitlin Clark's number two. Yeah, Caitlin Clark should be number two. Aaliyah Boston should be number three. But why didn't y'all give no praise to Aaliyah Boston? And you know why I segued into that? Because in the game, the person who really won the game was Nalissa Smith. You guys were saying y'all wanted to trade Nalissa Smith. Y'all wanted to say, get rid of Nalissa Smith. Get rid of Nalissa Smith. We need to trade her. Y'all mentally messed this girl head up. This girl had to come off the bench because it wasn't working. You guys were blaming her. Y'all were throwing nothing but slurs at the Indiana organization. Y'all wanted to get rid of everybody. And I had to come on here and say, bro, Nalissa Smith's not the problem. Y'all problem is Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark, they're trying to get accustomed to her, but Caitlin is throwing these passes like she's still at Iowa. She's not used to these guys yet. Now they're used to each other, and now they're dangerous. They might mess around and, and get somewhere. They're going to get, I, I, I told you, they could get to the fifth or the sixth seed. I, I believe they can. And everybody like, oh, but I thought you don't like Caitlyn. I told you, dummies, I am a fan of Caitlyn Clark and Angel Reese. I've been a fan of theirs since they were in high school. But I'm going to tell you guys, Caitlyn Clark wasn't ranked that high. The person who was ranked was Paige Beckner's and Angel Reese. Those were your one and two coming out of high school. So this is why when people say Angel Reese is a trash player, I'm like, nigga, every level Angel Reese has gone to, she's won. Every level she's been at, she's been starting. <laughs> Caitlin Clark, I know you Caitlin Clark fans are mad. You guys didn't know about Caitlin Clark until Angel Reese did this right back at her and she was hitting these logo threes in the tournament. Before that, y'all was not saying nothing about Caitlin Clark. Y'all wasn't. And I know because I was there, because I watched college women's basketball. I just didn't know a lot about the WNBA, so I had to subscribe to Queen of Love Sports, Seth Sports Talk, to learn the history of what's going on, because I haven't really watched the WNBA since Maya Moore left. Maya Moore is my favorite player. Um, well, Cynthia Cooper is my favorite player, then it's Maya Moore. Maya Moore was, dog, I swear, she was gonna, she's, she's the greatest. She was about to be the greatest. She was finna mess around and win about six. She was going to pull the Jordan, but she retired because she found love. From a person she was trying to get out of um that that she got out of um I believe prison because he was wrongfully um convicted. But in the game against the Atlanta Dream, my bad, my nostrils. Ever since I came back to Texas, bro, my my nostrils messed up. Now when the Dream played, the Dream problem is Tina Charles did her thing. This is the problem. Alicia Gray cost them the game. She kept shooting these dumb threes. She wasn't attacking the basket. She wasn't calming anybody down. So now we know that you're not all that. Ryan Howard is the dog. <laughs> Ryan Howard being missing from that team showed you that there's no real leadership. There's nobody ready to step up. Tina Charles is older now, guys. Y'all got to remember, Tina Charles has been in the league for a long time. She, she's an elder stateswoman. <laughs> so 
she's not going to bring the troops in and tell them this is what you need to do like she she tried um i believe i believe um nalissa smith nalissa smith took the dog out of all of them listen shout out to nalissa smith um that was probably her best game she's played all season seriously this was her best game everybody's saying caitlin clark and no it was nalissa smith and it was kelsey mitchell Nalissa Smith and Kelsey Mitchell dominated. They couldn't stop. Kelsey Mitchell hit Kelsey Mitchell hit a cross cross turn around. Wet. I said, oh my God, it's over. <laughs> but A B was getting put in foul trouble. And the reason they were putting her in foul trouble is because they've been letting A B get away with without a lot of fouls. Um, they have been the free throw shooters. They get away with a lot of calls. They got calls in this game, but I can't blame it all on the calls. The Atlanta dream is trash. Like they're really trash. Like their coach should have taken out a couple of them players and played her bench. I don't care if you're the last person on the bench, you're going to get in. Cause we need a spark. We need a spark for this game. I'm dead serious. We need a spark for this game. So I would have pulled, pulled, get in. <laughs> it's time to play. Or I would or I'd have put a short leash like after a few quarters. But Atlanta early on was doing well. They started losing and everything when um, the fever start playing in transition. Caitlin Clark played a phenomenal game. Uh, what Caitlin Clark did was she was running through screens. She was doing catches and shoots off picks. That's her game. She's not a, I'm going to do this and do that. Now, she got away with that arm thing. Listen, I'm, I'm looking past it because I already know. They're going to allow the Indiana Fever to foul. They're going to allow Caitlin to do this. So, you got to adjust if you're the defense. But to, you know, and Caitlin, you know, they had to move to another arena because they had so many fans. But I don't know why Chicago didn't move like like she said. Caitlin said it. Why wouldn't we move the game to United Center so all the fans could come see it? Because they don't want to do that, Caitlin. The reason they don't want to do that is they want to make it seem like you're the only one who pulls in fans. No, she doesn't. <laughs> Angel Reese has fans. Asia Wilson has fans. Dude, Las Vegas Aces sold out. They're the first team in WNBA history to sell out. They didn't have no Caitlin Clark. The Chicago Sky, all their merchandise sold out. They got stuff on back orders for next month. Caitlin Clark's not on that team. So all we're saying is stop trying to make it all about Caitlin Clark. This is what killed the NBA. This is why the NBA sucks. Y'all make it all about LeBron. And LeBron sucks. I'm sorry. I've never been a fan of his. He's always sucked to me. You may like him. Hey, that's cool. You can do your pom-poms. Just on this channel, we don't like LeBron. If you like LeBron, cool. I, you won't get blocked. <laughs> I won't go off on you. I'll just be like that. You're a fan of it. Like, Mac Mizzle, come on here. He's a fan of LeBron. And I told him, bro, I don't like LeBron. Like, I never did. Like, I don't like his game. He doesn't have a strong handle. He runs everybody over. He should have retired five years ago. He should have retired after that championship he won in Cleveland. He should have played two more seasons, maybe three, and retired. Because now all he's doing is just statting his pat. I mean, patting his stats. So then everybody could be like, oh, he's the greatest, but he only he only leads in one category, which is points. And nobody still considers him a great scorer. Nobody puts him over Kobe or Mike or Wilt or any of them guys. Bron has never dropped like 69 or 70. He ain't never dropped 80. He never got close to 100. Dude, you're not a great scorer. <laughs> you're just, you're, you're good at what you do. That's what I would give him. Now, back to it. I know I'm flip-flopping, going back and forth, because I'm trying to give you guys a whole analysis of how I look at things. Caitlin Clark played a phenomenal game yesterday. Nalissa Smith dominated the game. If it wasn't for Nalissa Smith, they wouldn't have won like that. Um, Alyssa Smith stepped up. They have a big four. And I told you guys, that picture I put up on the last video, I got you. That's your four. It's Caitlin Clark, Melissa Smith, A.B., Kelsey Mitchell. That's it. You could just throw everybody else in there. And they have a better team than the Chicago Sky. That's why when they won... 
Chicago Sky had a chance to beat them twice. Then you start having all these calls. Now, they're going to do the same thing today. They're going to screw the Chicago Sky. So get used to it, Chicago. <laughs> they don't like y'all. They're, they're going to treat y'all like the Detroit Pistons. That's just facts. So you guys are just going to have to stick together. Y'all just going to have to fight through it, find a way to win, and do your thing. But Friday night, um, I think it was Friday night. Yeah, Friday night or Saturday, whenever it was. Shout out to Caitlin Clark, man. She played a phenomenal game. Um, but she's still turning the ball over too much. But I still give her, um, I, get, I still, and her defense is still slacking. She's not really a good defender. That's why they were running that zone. Listen, Atlanta, you have what we call the all Negro team. <laughs> Everybody, they don't, they, when they pulled the a white person off the bench, I said, where the hell they find this white person at? When at what? I would do, I swear, it was like I found gold in the middle of El Paso, bro. I never seen this. I've, I've seen Atlanta's games. I've never seen a white person. They they, they must have got them from the, the executive booth. <laughs> they threw them in there. But she came in there being rugged. She was like, give me the ball. I said, okay, okay. She like Money Mabry. She cool with black people. Like She, she got to be around a number of black people, so she light-skinned it. <laughs> but, um... They didn't attack the basket. And um shot and on um, shout out to Queen of Love Sports on her channel. She was saying the same thing when she was commentating the game. They're not attacking the basket. When your shot is not on, you have to go to the basket. Tina Charles was killing them down there. They couldn't stop her. You should have kept giving the ball to Tina Charles, the foul. You this is your plan. You want to get Melissa Smith and you want to get A B in foul trouble. If you get them in foul trouble, Everything else is going to be nip and tuck. Kelsey Mitchell is just going to get her. You can't stop Kelsey. Caitlin Clark, you want to force left. She's not very strong going to her left. She can go left, but she's not very strong. You want to push her left to force her to either pick up the dribble and try to pass and end up getting a travel, or you want her to try to pull up and shoot. If you do that to her, you'll be fine. Chicago don't have the guards to me. Lizzie, she's okay defensively. She's average to me. Kennedy could play defense because she's very athletic. But she, but her, Dana could play defense, but sometimes Dana gets too aggressive. You can't get too aggressive against her. It's like Michael Jordan in the 90s or LeBron James in the NBA. If you breathe on him, it's a foul. <laughs> That's just how it goes. That's just the way it is. But the Atlanta dream, whenever they're in a zone, you attack the basket. Even if you don't get the call, attack the basket because your shot is not going. This is what pisses me off. And it's not just the WNBA, it's, it's, it's the NBA. They do this all the time. When they're three-point, they, they done shot 33s in the first half and only made two. They still shooting threes. Like I don't like Charles Barkley B-dancing ass, but he tells the truth. If you're not making the three, dummy, take your ass to the post. That's it. Go to the basket. There's nothing again. Atlanta has, to me, bigger and stronger guards than the Fever had. You mean to tell me when Hole and Christy Wallace in the game, I'd have been attacking them. When they ran that zone, I'd attack Christy Wallace and I'd attack Caitlin Clark. Oh, we going after them. Oh, that's racist. You're picking on the two white girls. That's not racist, stupid. That's smart <laughs> because they both aren't strong defenders. They're not. They get away with a lot of arm chopping and a lot of pulling and, 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 and that forearm. Bro, I watch every detail of the game. <laughs> so you guys can't fool me. That's why I don't listen to these Caitlin Clark fan fanatics because they don't know what they're talking about. But Caitlin Clark had to come out and say it's not a robbery. Mabry had to come out and said, um, I think it's a robbery to the new fans, but it's never been a robbery with Chicago and Indiana. That's why I was like, why is Christy Size lying? Christy Size, why did you lie? Chicago and Indiana never had a, first of all, when Indiana won their championships with Tamika Catchings, Chicago wasn't even around. I don't even think they were an exception. I think they might have been, but I don't think they were that good. When Chicago won, Indiana wasn't good. So what is you talking about? What are you talking about? 
Why are you being dumb? Like seriously, why are you being dumb? You can't be dumb your whole life, but she's feeding into it because it's her job to. But no disrespect to her. I don't have no problem with Christy Sides. I'm the one who defended her, saying Christy Sides is a solid coach. She makes some mistakes here and there, but she's a solid coach. I would like to see Wheeler in the starting lineup more than Christy Wallace, but I guess Christy Wallace plays the system a lot better with those um, four. So... But the Atlanta Dream, man, they got to do some soul searching. They played that game like crap. Alicia Gray, when, when she's messing up, her beautiful self. Man, Alicia, fine. <laughs> I love you, Alicia. <laughs> joke, joke, guys, joke. <laughs> but she got to learn how to play under the pressure. She got to get to the basket. Um, Alyssa Powers, Powers, number 23, the light skin. I call her mean light bright. She just mean. She want to fight all the time. You got to attack the basket and you got to keep your head. You get into a one-on-one -on -one with Nalissa Smith, you're going to lose. Nalissa Smith is better than you. <laughs> She's tougher than you. And Nalissa Smith already know, like, dog, you're not, you not like that. You're not like that. And she know it. She know you're not. So you got to keep your cool. You got to keep your cool. Um, Hillman didn't do anything. The rest of them didn't do anything. It was they were getting destroyed on the boards. The points and the paint is what was killing them. But what was killing Atlanta was they shot too many threes. That's the only reason they lost. Now down the stretch in the second half, they played a whole lot better. But it was too late by then. You didn't got the fever and the rhythm. So, Caitlin Clark get an A for this game. Um, Nalissa Smith gets an A+. Plus. Um, Kelsey Mitchell gets an A. Um, AB gets a B because she got in foul trouble, but still she got a double-double. She did her thing on the boards and, like, controlling the paint, getting Tina Charles a tech. That was smart, great, savvy move. Boston, like I said, Boston's a beast. You see, that's why she's number three in all-star voting. Because the fans, they paying attention to her watching the game. They're like, look, man, I was dumb. I'm, I'm, I think a Caitlin Clark fan was like, man, not a Caitlin Clark fan, but somebody was like, somebody told a Caitlin Clark fan, bro, y'all just got here, dog. Like, we've been known about basketball. But see, these Caitlin Clark fans aren't real fans. That's why when they try to argue with me, I tell them, bro, I've known about Caitlin Clark because, see, her and Angel Reese, Cam Camila Cardoso came in together. Angel Reese has always been the better player of all of them. CC just has a better team, and she just shoots the ball. That's all it is. She's a shooter. That's all she does. She's not a great defender. She's not. She was getting cooked yesterday. But because they were in a zone, she had help defense. That's why I hate the zone. That's why I wish it was like the NBA of the 80s. You couldn't play no zone. You had to learn how to play, or you was going to get cooked. You had to learn defense. And that's the thing Kobe Bryant, shout out to him, God rest his soul, he said this, that zone protects your weak defender. That's why it's not good to play zone. Even on the video games I play, I don't play no zone. I hate zone. Zone is so trash because, because there's too many holes in it. You can get to that mid-range. You can attack the basket at an angle. You can move the ball. Because, see, Atlanta wasn't moving the ball. All they had to do was move the ball and get the ball inside to Tina. And then when they collapse on her, somebody come open to the mid-range. If your three-pointer's not working, get to the mid-range and knock the shot down. If you keep knocking down the shots, you'll be fine. Because the, 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 the uh, fever, they don't take threes like that. They don't. Because they learn. They They listened. They listened. They see the videos. <laughs> I think they do. I hope they do. But, dog, you, you see the videos I'm talking about. I told you, you got two players, a five and a four. You got A.B. and Alyssa who can score from all three levels, who can pass from all three levels. You don't get rid of that. You build around that. But, see, all these CC fans are crybabies. They don't know shit about the game. Now she got a team. At first, they wanted to trade the team. I'm like, nigga, I'm not trading the team. Let me tell you something. The first couple weeks, the reason the fever was struggling is Kelsey Mitchell was getting off of injury. 
She had to work herself back. Nalissa Smith was trying to adjust. Think she was going through something personally with her with Dijanae or something. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm just saying that that's what I heard. And then AB was getting attacked on the internet. Like she trying to talk to her family on Liza. She trying to visit her page and people leaving all these hate stuff on there about her. It was crazy. And Caitlin Clark, like she just sitting there old luck, happy go lucky. You don't want to talk about it. And you got all these people defending her saying she doesn't have to speak up about it. Yes, she does. It's your fan base. It's your fan base. If your fan base go out here and destroy private property, they're going to call out. Your name is going to be attached to that. So she had to come out and make a statement saying, oh, well, those people who are racist are doing that. They're not a part of our group. That's not. I was like, oh, my God, dog. Her handlers, dog, I could tell they just some conservative ass dummies. <laughs> I could tell her handlers are conservative. And then your boyfriend over here liking hate tweets about Angel Reese. It's like, bro, why? First of all, you a grown ass man. You mad at a woman? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I hope they play each other in the playoffs one of these years in the conference finals and they give, <laughs> they go at it so we can shut all this up. But the way Caitlin Clark is playing is she's playing off the ball, which is great. They're moving the ball. Everybody's touching the ball. They're getting the ball to Nalissa. Nalissa's making a great place. They're running the offense through Nalissa and A.B. Because they're the best passers on the team. They are. They're the best passers. Let me tell you again, Caitlin Clark fans. They're the best passers. Don't give me no stats. Just because you average about five or six assists does not mean you're a great passer. I'm telling you. Seriously. But the Atlanta coach, she need to light fire to her whole Atlanta team. And they need to pray Ryan Howard come back because if she doesn't, they're in trouble. But Alicia Gray just got to switch up her game. If Alicia Gray attacks the basket more, their wings attack the basket more, get to the mid-range more, they feed Tina Charles. See, they weren't feeding Tina Charles a lot. They kept shooting these dumbass threes. It's like, Why? Why are we shooting these threes, y'all? Why? Why are we shooting these threes, guys? You know, that's what I'm asking. Why are we shooting these threes? Huh? Why? But that's how it happened. Um, Melissa Smith just dominated inside out. She got to work on her free throws though, because that could hurt them in big games. But um, she did her thing, man. Look, I take nothing from her. Like I said, I love Caitlin. Cl I love their their team. I don't like the state. I don't like the people from the state. I don't like Indiana. Indiana is a racist pieces pieces of crap, just like Boston. That's why I say F Indiana, F Boston, and I mean that wholeheartedly. If you from Indiana on my page. Hey, yo bad, I don't have a problem with you. I have a problem with your state and your, and, and your pink folk, just like Boston. I don't like them. So if y'all want to call me racist, do your thing, a prejudice, do your thing. But I'm going to tell you straight up, I stick to how I feel. <laughs> you know, I'm not a person to live in a world where people think, oh, there's no racism. They make it about stupid. <laughs> White people make it about race more than black, bro. They do. It's just that blacks get highlighted more with race because they try to use that against us as a stigma. As a stigma and as a way to be like, oh, well. We're just doing it like this and everything because we're going to paint a picture that they always complain when I see every damn commercial about a goddamn Jew <laughs> talking about. Look what the Holocaust did to us, nigga. Y'all only was in the Holocaust for a couple years, nigga. We was decades almost millennia we was under slavery <laughs> so what are you talking about that's why i said it's a double standard we can't complain about nothing because it gets seen as bullshit they can complain all they want because they own the media i told y'all go look up who owned the media 
Go look up the percentage of whites working in the media as opposed to blacks. And there's your racism. <laughs> but y'all not going to say nothing because y'all want to keep this. We're peaceful, people. We're good. We're here to watch the game. <laughs> I don't live in delusion. I live in reality. I call a spade a spade. Nigga, it is what it is. Now, let's go to the real game. Listen. Chelsea Gray is the best point guard I've seen since Jason Kidd. I'm dead serious. Like, Chelsea Gray is the reason this game just, she took control. Dejanae Carrington couldn't stop her. Then Asia Wilson, A.T., Bree Jones. You can't stop them. A.T. tried to do her little tactics. Asia Wilson said, uh scored on her and said yeah come on i'm ready for it listen <laughs> asia wilson is the best player in the world dog i'm sorry listen asia wilson took let, let me tell you how raw she is asia wilson missed the shot got her own rebound oh god she got like four of her own rebounds bro they're gonna talk about that no, I guess that only applies to um, Angel Reese. And I'm glad they put that stat out there. Angel Reese has 68 offensive rebounds. 24 of hers were... 24 of the offensive rebounds were hers. The rest off of other people's misses. So we debunked that. Now I guess what they're saying. Oh, she got to get her percentage up. LeBron fans, I tell you, that's what they try to use against Kobe. But everything else they can't take from Kobe. So, but... Asia Wilson showed you the Connecticut Sun, they disappointed me. Dewana Bonner, when it came to big games against the Lynx or the I mean the Liberty and um and this team, they just fall short. Dewana Bonner could not get a shot going. Dejanae, she started out slow, but she got her game going. But Dewana Bonner at least needed to get about 16 to 20. She needed 20 some this game. Because AT is not going to give you a bunch of points. AT is going to give you rebounds, steals, defense, a couple knocking people out, <laughs> which I love. I love AT because she's a throwback player. See, I love throwback players. That's why I like Angel Reese because she's a throwback player. She's, 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 she, <laughs> this new age ain't, ain't used to them type of players. Chelsea Gray was, was giving DeJanae the business. Ty Harris and Dewana Bonner lost Connecticut Sun this game. Ty Harris has got to learn. Listen, Ty Harris is, is one of the best point guards in the league. I think she might be right behind um, Chelsea Gray. But it's a big margin she behind. Ty Harris has got to be more aggressive. She's got to take over. Like I, I thought the coach would do that, but the coach, this is what I don't like about this coach and the L.A. Sparks coach. They're not the same. The Connecticut Sun coach is better, but they stick to their system too much. Listen, a system was put into place to run something that was, it, it's a set. You got a, you got maybe three, four sets, and you run your plays out of those sets. You might have more sets. Because in football, it's the same thing. You got like four sets, like the three, four, four, three, five, two, the, the, the sub packages. The sub packages are all one. You just have a different variation of the sub packages. Like you'll take this linebacker, where this linebacker was at, you would put a dimebacker there. Or if you had this um, in the four, three, um, you just go to a nickel. It's really all the same set. All it is is you're just switching players out to make it a different package. You're really wanting, running one set in the NBA back in the day. Now, everybody runs damn near the same plays. Like Carcino, shot out to him. He breaks it down perfectly when he says, everybody really runs the same plays and sets. They do. They really do. It's just that fans are, fans just, like these coaches, they try to stick to a set or a plan to move the ball. Outside of DeWanna Bonner, Ty Harris, I believe, can get her own shot. Dejanae is more of, I got to come off of a screen or she's a spot up person or she can attack the basket, but she doesn't really have any moves like that. Ty, Ty Harris and Dewana Bonner are the two players who can create their own shot, 
who can come off the screens great and who can do their thing with the ball. They can pity pat that bitch. You don't really have you don't really have a lot of people that does that on their team. Alyssa Thomas probably could get her own shot because she can handle the ball. But outside of them, they really can't. Bree Jones, she got going, but they needed Dewana Bonner and Ty Harris to step up. That's who they needed. Um, shout out to Hayes. She played a great game. Her defense on um, Dejanae Carrington along with Chelsea Gray frustrated Dejanae Carrington. They got physical. This is how you beat Connecticut Sun. You got to match their physicality. Las Vegas, see, people think because Las Vegas is a, is a great transition team. They have some finesse. They are gritty. Chelsea Gray brings that grittiness. That's why I said she's she's going to change. I told um, Seth Sports Talk on the channel. I said, look. They just remind me of a team. They're a team that goes when their offense goes. When Chelsea Gray gets there, you guys saw her first game. Chelsea Gray was pointing to where to go. Yo, you go here. You go here. Shut up. You go there. She put everybody in position to succeed. She did. She put everybody in position to succeed. She made sure everybody was at, at their right position. She made sure everybody was put where they were supposed to be put at. Chelsea Gray, like I said, she's the MVP on the team. She's the most valuable player. Asia Wilson is just the greatest player, dog. Like, she just put the game away. She put the game away. Because um, I'm glad they took Alyssa Clark out. Alyssa Clark is, she's a bench player. Kelsey Plum, to me, is going to be their downfall. I think down the line, I would bring Kelsey Plum off the bench. And I think Becky is starting to see that. Kelsey sometimes tries to go one-on-one -on -one too much or she'll try to pull up and take these shots she don't need to take. You're not Jackie Young. Now, Jackie Young had a bad game yesterday because of the defense on um, Dijanae, Bonner, Thomas. They were all getting on her, but the person they needed to get at was Chelsea Gray. If you disrupt Chelsea Gray, you disrupt their team. But at the end of the day, you got to be scoring as well. You got to be doing your thing as well. And they didn't. The Connecticut Sun, outside of Bonner and Ty Harris and Thomas, I don't think they don't have anybody on the team who can create. The one girl off the bench, the light-skinned chick, I can't think of her name, she's a, she's a traditional point guard. She's not like Ty. Ty can score and pass. But Ty Harris needed to step up that game, and she was cold. Dewana Bonner couldn't make anything. She couldn't even make her free throws. That's how bad it was. That's how bad it was. It was like, what? She can't make a free throw? Damn. It was bad. It was bad as hell. But do I think they'll bounce back? Of course they will. Of course they'll bounce back. But they got to understand, people got to understand, sometimes when you play against teams, the refs are going to call fouls. When you play the Indiana Fever, they're going to call fouls. They're going to protect that white girl because they're tired of all this crying. They're tired of everybody blasting them. So the WNBA, who was ran by the NBA, had to say, look, just, just control the fouling a little bit. You don't want to take all the physicality away. I'm telling you, if you do that, you're going to be the NBA. You're going to be losing numbers, losing everything. Everybody's trying to figure out why the NBA ain't selling. Because y'all don't have any superstars. Y'all don't promote. The Celtics, Tatum and Brown aren't superstars. They're just stars. They're just, they, they're not galvanizing figures. The stars were on the Mavericks with Luka and Kyrie. Those were the ones you were supposed to push. Not no goddamn Boston. <laughs> that's what I'm saying it's like then you got Ant-Man you got to make him into something he got a superstar personality but he got to work on his game in the WNBA you got Asia Wilson Tina Charles like a lot of the WNBA people even the young folks are starting to realize about it they like oh Tina Charles nice Angel Reese has superstar power they're like, they just focus on her rebounding. Listen, you don't understand. This girl is rebounding the ball 
and it's changing the course of the game. I haven't seen that since Dennis Rodman. <laughs> like, who makes the... Listen, Shaq rebounded the ball. Dennis Rodman dominated rebounding the ball. He dominated rebounding the ball. Y'all don't understand. Her rebounding has changed the game. You got little girls and, and boys at the games yelling for her. So that's what I'm saying. The Las Vegas Aces, their team has more. <laughs> they get looked at more than the damn Celtics because you know why? Asia Wilson's a superstar. Jackie Young. You could say she's a star. Kelsey's a role player. Chelsea Gray is a, 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 a super. She's Chelsea Gray is just a, a, a valuable piece, but she's a big valuable piece. Their team is marketable. Everybody has Kelsey and Asia got and and Kelsey and Asia. Asia got personality. It's it's been fun watching her. I was wrong. She's very marketable. She she has a personality because they're showing it more. And it's like wow. Asia really is marketable. Like at first I didn't think, and now it's like they just really weren't talking about. It. They didn't let her really speak. They didn't really, and when they did let her speak, it was in a negative. When you actually hear her speak, it's one of the most beautifulest things. She she draws you in. And then when she was, you know, crying and everything, everybody's like, that's weak and everything, but she wasn't even crying for compassion. She was crying like, I'm letting my team down. See, there's a difference. That's passion. I, I felt it. Because that's how I feel. Like if I'm not doing something for my family, tears are coming down my eye. It's not no boo-hoo tears. It's just tears of pain and pissed offness. Because you're not, you're doing all of this stuff, but you're still not helping nobody. So she did her thing. Las Vegas, dog, they look like they're going to be the champs again. Because the sun, they can't handle them. They gonna whoop the Liberty when they play them again because Chelsea Gray gonna change the game and now they got Hayes out there and they got that Jessica Carter chick. They're bringing her along. Stokes has stepped her game up because they brought Jessica Carter in because Stokes is about to be off the team. She been playing terrible, but now she's picked it up because Chelsea Gray's there now. Kelsey Plum cannot play the point. She can't. Jackie Young could play it to a certain extent, but they needed Chelsea. And that's why I said when Chelsea come back, it's over. So, you know. Those two games, you know what I'm saying, they they did their thing. But but um the son gotta do Dewana Bonner, I don't know what she gotta do. She gotta do some soul searching. Because this is another big game she's played in where she's played terrible. Now, is it is it the pressure? Like, what is it? Come on, come on, listen, man. You got to get on your girl. You got to tell your girl, baby, what are you doing? You got to play. Come on. We need you. We need you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to play. But their coach, their coach got to cut all that one and run sets all the time. Mm -mm, get rid of that shit. Get rid of that shit. Get rid of that shit. Let Ty Harris do her thing. Dejanae Carrington started off slow, but she picked her game up. And defensively, her defense was her defense was key to getting them back in the game. Dejanae Carrington, man, I if they don't win it this year, <clears throat> I'm with Seth Sports Talk. I'm keeping Dejanae Carrington. I'm paying her whatever I got, and I'm building around her. Like seriously, she she's she she got it. She got it. She just got to work on her um, her individual game, her handles, her shot. She just got to learn how to do that, be able to take people off the dribble more. And I think she'll be dope. But if I'm the Chicago Sky, she going to be a free agent. I might try to grab her. Because she could bring that toughness. Her and Angel together, that'll be mean. Yo, so I'm just saying. You know, but that's what happened in the game. The um, 
Asia just took over, took the game over. Um, down the stretch, they had their their bench players in there, and you know they started coming back. But my thing is, you had this this girl number forty four on your bench. This is what I'm talking about coaching. The Connecticut Sun, you should have put number forty four out there when Dewana Bonner was playing like shit. You should have took her out the game and put that number forty four in. Like you, you, if you're trying to win a championship, you can't be having hard feelings. You got to do what it takes. You got to. It was the same thing for the for the Sparks. Zaya Cook came in last game, brought him back from a 15, 20 point deficit. The coach, he still. I'm watching the game now. He's still doing Rakia Jackson dirty. It's like, bro, you, this guy don't know how to coach. <laughs> Like, he, he's coaching like this is college, and it's not. These are the pros. But, but yeah, Connecticut son, she got to do better. But um, thank you guys, man, for coming by. Make sure you like the video. You comment. Make sure the comments are clean. If you disagree with me, just leave a nice little note. But don't be going towards a hate message because it's like, I'm a thumbs down it. It's going to be way at the bottom where nobody really care about you. <laughs> And make sure you subscribe. When you do subscribe, hit that alarm, that bell. It's a select all so you get my stuff. Um, like I said, we got the Fantasy Football League going on this year. It's going to be $30. Um, you guys just throw me the $30 to the Cash App or the Zelle. I'll send you the link. If you win at the end of the Fantasy League, you get your money back, plus everybody else's money goes in your pocket, and we will give you a trophy. I'm going to show you guys the trophy whenever I get back to the crib. I'm out right now. I'm staying somewhere else, relaxing, a mini vacation. But um, make sure you guys do that. Um, my Patreon is $3 um, a month. I got to put some on there today. I got something to talk about on that. Um, what else? What else? what else oh yeah if you want to donate to the page like i said i got a zelle cash app is in the description box you guys can also um super chat when the video's live premieres or leave a super thanks if you come to the video late so um that's about it um I watched the game today. I'll give y'all my review. I'm still finishing up the games from last night. Because <laughs> like I tell you guys, I'm tired. And I got to do my My Adventures with Superman. And I got to do my Boruto review. But, um, yeah. Shout out to Carcino for Life. Shout out to Jag Sports with Jose Rodriguez. Shout out to Scrub. Shout out to Fulon Speaks, man. He had another great video about um, Kelsey Mitchell and, and Caitlin Clark balling out. I love his reviews. <laughs> I love I love Fulon Speaks, man. Like he, I know he from Philly <laughs> because he a real dude. Like if you meet people from Philly, they some real people. <clears throat> you know. Um, shout out to um, who did it this time. I gotta call my dog. I ain't talked to him in a while. Shout out to Kingdom Castle with C-Pen. They talking about them Kansas City chicks. <laughs> chicks. <laughs> um, we got um, One True Emperor who's on the FIFA Heavy. Make sure you watch his channel. He play games over there. He also has some content. Shout out to um, Bear Theater. Bear Theater was on there beating on somebody or somebody was beating on him one or the other. But you guys get to watch some great games from them guys. They make some great content. Um, who else? Leaf Diggy. Leaf Diggy talking about the Nets in trouble. <laughs> I feel him. Um, you also got Mac Mizzle show. Mac Mizzle doing his thing. Shout out to him. Strictly left. <laughs> Shout out to him. I ain't seen him in a while. I think he texted me the other day. I got to look at it. Um, so MDT Sports. Shout out to him. I mean, shoot, that's it. Thank you guys, man. Love and blessings. We out. Deezy.